This Altair system is uh, serial number 21 and it was one of the very first ones probably ordered by telephone by Dean Gross and his friend who called up immediately when they uh, saw and heard that the computer was for sale. And so this is probably one of the first manuals, at least the first batch. You notice that it just says Altair computer system. It doesn't define it as a 8800 or anything, which the later ones did. Taking a look inside, we see what was probably used as one of the early ads for the 8800 computer. It's all black and white, of course. And the table of contents. See, in the introduction, they talk about the numbering system, binary, octal computer programming. The little section in here we'll take a look at a little bit teaches a little bit of basic Boolean logic, um, very fundamental, <clears throat> very fundamental in programming. In fact, you can see that there's only 17 pages devoted to uh, numbering systems, computer programming, and a simple uh, computer definition, computer language. Or organizational chart of the computer, how it operates, the instruction set, which is just the 8080 instruction set. And uh, actually a lot of work went into writing this manual. I don't know for sure, but I would imagine Ed Roberts had a lot of input into it himself. He didn't have a very large staff at that time. So let's take a look inside just a little bit. We'll look at a few pages uh, from inside the manual. Very fundamental. Actually, if you hadn't uh, received some instruction or have some knowledge of uh, binary and binary math and programming, you'd have a little trouble uh, just learning it from this manual. However, it's a very good review, and there is a lot of work put into the manual in spite of the fact that it's uh, quite simple. Um, even goes into a little bit of history of Boolean algebra up here and talks about Boolean algebra. And here we see the uh, schematic equivalent of the uh, gates, and, or, nor, nand, nor, not gate. So it, it doesn't go into depth, but it, it does review. And here we see discussion of the binary numbering system with decimal and binary, and a little discussion about uh, and here's a simple procedure for converting uh, decimal into binary, or I should say this is converting binary back into decimal, actually. Anybody wants to see the whole manual, let me know. I'll be glad to, to do that. I'm just showing you a few little parts here. And um, like I said, it's pretty brief. Computer programming talks about machine language programming. How to do that, define the program, establish the approach, write the program. That's pretty basic. Here we go, writing a simple program. Assume you want to add two numbers located in two different memory locations. Here's a little flow chart to do that. A little discussion of computer languages. Machine language, which can be represented as mnemonics or binary. Coming on down here, assembler languages, which allows you to write in a little higher level and then assemble it back into binary. Or compiler languages such as uh, Fortran, BASIC, COBOL, and others. So it's a little bit of history, a little bit of background uh, throughout the whole manual. And uh, if you worked really hard, you could learn an awful lot and get this computer to do some things for you, as uh, Dean Gross did in this case. So if you want to see more of the manual, let me know. I'll be uh, glad to make a video with more. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what was in the manual.